This passage is from Luke 12, verse 22 to 34. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear, for life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens, they do not sow or reap, they do not store room, they have no store room or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Consider how the wildflowers grow. They do not labour or spin, yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendour was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. For the pagan world runs after all such things, and your father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out, a treasure in heaven that will never fail, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. But where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So I don't know about you guys, but worry is something that I deal with a lot. And um, it's something that Jesus said not to do. <clears throat> he says, therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. And he also says that worrying can't add a single hour to your life. And people often say to me, don't worry, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to help anything. Worrying doesn't actually solve anything. I was thinking about this passage and I was thinking about the part where it says do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink but actually that phrase set set your heart what do we set our hearts on do we set our hearts on things that matter do we set our heart on things that we need things that we want things that we wish for or do we set our hearts on good things like what kind of person we are and giving to the poor like it says in this passage in this passage and it talks about treasure, and that your treasure in heaven is the treasure that matters. It talks about where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And whatever you treasure says something about who you are as a person. So if you treasure material things, then what's in your heart is probably a little bit of greed, wanting the next best thing, wanting to have riches, wanting to have wealth. And there's a little bit of that in every one of us. Sometimes people treasure how you look, whether you look a certain way or um, how fashionable you are or what people think of you, what people say about you and what they set their hearts on is um, other people's opinions and other people's um, views of them. It might be that you set your heart on things that you want for your life, like a job or a family or a partner. But what you set your heart to says something about who you are. What you treasure says something about who you are. And I guess the challenge here is, um, it says in the passage, seek first the kingdom. And the kind of thing that that means is to be looking like Jesus, looking like somebody who would sell your possessions or provide for the poor, give to the poor. And those are the things that say more about you than the things that you have or the things that you wear or the things that you eat. And I think what God's saying in this passage is that your treasure should be things like that. Not material things, not things that will go when you die, things that you'll be able to take with you. Things about who you were, about your personality, about your character. And that that's where the true treasure is. And that's what he wants to find in our hearts is kindness and um, generosity. And through that, pursuing that, we'll worry a lot less about what we have and what we eat or what we don't have. We'll be worrying about what other people have or don't have because our hearts will be on the true treasure that God wants for us. God bless, guys. <laughs>